What? What? What is this sorcery? What is this sorcery? Watch to find out, y'all. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Nefer Persona, where I do a, an abundance of different types of hairstyles, DIYs, home decor, motherhood things. You name it, I've probably done it. But in today's video, I'm going to give you the full throttle. I'm going to show you the breakdown of this hairstyle that I chose. This is the install of my um, crochet braids inspired by Kyla Pratt. I love, love, love her hair. But I know my real hair would not do the style justice. It just doesn't have the density. So I conjured up this here magic and was able to achieve the style very closely. Now, practice makes perfect. So this is my first go round. I hope you guys enjoy. This took quite a bit of time to do because I had to figure out how to braid the hair down and how to get it flat on the side. Took a little bit of tweaking, so hang in there with me. This is it. This is a lengthy video, not my norm, but I wanted to give you the full experience of how long it actually took me to do this hairstyle. So if you like what you see, stick around, hit the subscribe button, and definitely like and share if you think it will benefit anybody. And stay around and see how it turns out. Bye for now. Types of hair, look at that price on there. Banger three freaking 99. I love deals. I love deals. I saw this and snatched it right on up. Didn't even know what the who I was gonna do with it, but it regularly was $6.99. And I was like, $3.99. This was $7.99. She gave it to me for four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. So yeah, so I'm gonna use the camera. And of course, it is in color number two. And I know I recently used this hair, but in Kyla Pratt style, as you can see, wherever I'm gonna put it, so pretty. Like I uh, watch Call Me Cat, fall in love with her hair every single time. But this is the hair. If you've never seen it. It's a uh, deep brown. God, just a klutz. But it is a deep brown very soft very bouncy very yakky that's how it looks that's your information card and we're going to install now this i haven't decided what i want to do with just yet but this is all my hair you see you got great lint but it's just thin and limp if it was more of a lumptuous like you wouldn't be able to tell me that because I would always wear my own hair out. It was so thin and limp and flat, right? Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to cut it in half. Definitely leave it like this, but it looks too much like weave like that. So we're going to cut it in half, prep it, and get it started. And my favorite part about this hair is these wispy ends. You can get you a lot of layers going in there. So you just saw what I did in my braid, and I'm going to anchor this last braid here but I think the hair I use here I'm gonna have to I'm gonna go ahead and mold it down so it looks right and then I think I'm gonna have to flat the end and pull it back maybe I think I honestly got my hair too greasy we're gonna use a combination of wet and gel I'm trying to see how I want to do it. I always can secure this though, like inside of the hair, because all of this is going to be covered, of course. Beeswax. 
Get the black kind. If your hair is thin, it helps to just fill it in. And you can warm this up as well. But this is what I used to use back in the day with the yellow kind more often. This brush and this brush. I just did a Bantu knot and I'm going to use a bobby pin. Just put my hair in a uh, Bantu knot and I'm just going to use a bobby pin to secure it down to where if I needed to do it over, all I would have to do is pull out the bobby pins. So if I had to do my hair over on this side, all I would have to do is just pull out the pins. And this wax and this gel works perfectly together. cut the hair in half and I always wet it to give it some uh, weight. Shook most of the water out. I have a towel that I lay it on and if you just try to wet it let me know what you think about that like I've been doing that for years 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 years. That's with hair like this it just helps it to stay together in my opinion and then when you cut it you know you usually have like a little blunt end like this you can just take the hair some water you see popping off of it. That's why I really don't put a lot of product on here because it cannot absorb it. It just sits on top until it dries. So if you weigh it down and weigh it down and weigh it down and weigh it down with mousse and gels and you don't want to do too much of that unless the hair is just unruly. Like that last install I had, I hated that hair, but that's a whole other story. You can watch that video. It's like a love-hate relationship. I don't put anything on this hair or that you see you don't need to and it'll fall about right there. I did run an errand really quickly and I saw where <coughs> Walmart brought my order. It was just sitting on the board and I was like Walmart. You know they have dashers that bring it. Shout out to the dashers. You trim me out but I heard some great things about this. So I'm going to use it. I just try to order some uh, rosemary oil by itself, but I couldn't find any. I have my peppermint and I have eucalyptus. So I just want to oil my scalp with this. A little goes a long way. And I did end up using some freeze spray on my hair because, guys, it's so soft. Like, I don't know what to do to make my hair hold. It's just crazy, but yeah, I wanted to try this oil. If you use this, let me know, but it's going to be a staple. I heard it helps to strengthen your hair and just offers lint retention. Uh, I really want to use it on Zion because she has the psoriasis and the sulfur 8 help and the, what is the other kind of tea tree oil helps but I want to use this as well and you don't want to rub your face or anything when you put that on because it's very potent and to make your hair stay you want to do like a piece about that much and I kind of install it like this where one piece is longer than the other at all let's go this size right here we're gonna go that size It's pretty locked. You see it? Oh, shirt's getting wet. But small pieces are key. Small pieces are key. Small, no big chunks. You do not have to have a lot of hair. But you see, this is only one bag. All I have is one bag of hair.
one bag. And this one bag is going to be enough for me. Because once again, you're going to use your small pieces. Your small pieces. See like it might take forever, but it actually won't. There's only like six or so you can do on each braid in the front. This is my one of my favorite hair brands to use. I mean, them and Free Trash are hit. Free trash. Free trash are hands down some of the best type quality hair. I've been using free trash for like so ever since I was like in my twenties, I think. No, I would say my thirties. For about ten years I would say. I'm just going to continue to do that and of course as you know I always like to come back and I'm almost done and I never really start in the back I know you probably wonder why but I always start in the front and I've done that because my thing is what if you don't get done and you gotta go out and like run an errand if you start in the front, at least you can kind of pull your hair back. But if you start in the back and you had to run out, how would you cover your front? You'll have to put like a scarf on it all the time. I don't want to put a scarf or a hat on like when I ran my hair earlier. I actually put this beanie on my head. I'm just I'm the type of person I don't like to have anything on my head. I don't wear scarves or anything like that. I just, it's hot. And I get headaches. So, that's why I really don't like wigs, to be honest. I wear a wig at my convenience. But it's not going to be an all day thing. Like, I will literally go and snatch it off so fast because I just feel like it's taking over my life. I don't know. I'm just this is how far I've gotten. I think I've done one, two, three, four, five. I'm on the sixth braid. Six more to go plus my anchor braid here. And I wouldn't mind having some color. I thought I had some slate colored hair. It's just a white hair or the silver hair in this laying around. But I cannot find it, but that would definitely be pretty if I can find a few pieces to kind of throw in there. So if you see a pop of color show up, don't be surprised if I do come across the hair. So I could have swore I had a bag. I don't remember using it. Like, I really don't remember using that hair at all. Like, what would I would have used it for? It's the question. Like, if I did use it, what the world did I do with it? Who knows, but I was just thinking about that. I was like, dang, that'd be pretty if I could find a pop of color. I have burgundy, but I'm kind of sick of using burgundy here. I've had burgundy for the last year or so. Even if I had like some 613 to throw in there, that'd be pretty. Even number 27. No, not number 27. I think white, anything silver will be pretty, but all black is fine too, or all dark brown. That pop of color is always spassy. So I'm still just going and going and going. I have quite a bit of hair left. I have all of this right here, plus this little piece I'm working from. And this honestly would be enough to probably finish the front of the hair. And then the rest will be for the back. And I'm not bashing anyone that likes to use like a lot of hair. But honestly, it's not necessary. You can actually save money for other hairstyles. Like I said, I spent $4 on this hair. Last style was 8 This is 4 I mean, if you know how to do your own hair, that's winning all the way around. So I hope... You guys are learning from me. I don't mind teaching. But a big pet peeve of mine, and I'll go ahead and share it, 
especially in the natural hair or protective hairstyle community what I've noticed even with my small little channel not to say I'm the first to have done anything that I do but you know it's a rarity but if I see something that inspires me like this hairstyle I'm doing right now I'm so inspired by Kyla Pratt I love her hair I will definitely tag and post put it as a or a keyword and everything in case somebody else is kind of looking for ways to get her hairstyle but don't necessarily want to cut their hair but you don't see a lot of that you know all you see is a lot of like people just taking each other's content and kind of just calling it their own sometimes like I watch a lot of TikTok videos where that is happening and I'm like that got to stop you know we have to start copywriting our things I mean even like I said with my channel I've seen a lot of techniques especially with the rubber band I don't mind sharing things on the channel but you don't want to feel discouraged when you see people using your technique like I said I didn't make it up or anything but the way I did it was specific for thin hair or let's just say my hair to make the crochets work better with certain type of hair for me especially when you're doing the heavier hair so it's just a way for the hair to hold better opposed to me braiding my hair down with braiding hair or anything I was like let me just do rubber bands and rubber bands um, you know especially within the natural hair community is like an instant no but I've seen it reused multiple times and I haven't seen my name tagged in it not once I even saw someone do the whole entire thing like with the up and down brace that I did and everything and I'm like what but that's okay in a sense I just know I don't do that I don't do it if I see somebody that inspires me I'm definitely gonna give them credit I'm not gonna hurt anything to shout somebody out like nothing's gonna happen they're not gonna take anything away from you you're not gonna lose anything you know, you'll just gain a little bit of integrity. That's just how I am. You're not going to lose anything. Because if it wasn't meant for you to have, you wouldn't have it anyway. That's just how I see it. So, don't have that type of mindset when you think somebody's going to do better than you if you shot them out or something. Stop being like that. I'm not directing this towards anybody in specific. This is what I've seen, you know, just across social media and I'm not confrontational or anything like that but I just thought I'd put that out there because I have been a victim here to help and share but you don't want people just taking your credit for things that's when you sit here and work hard to try to build a name for yourself and it's like people pulling the rug up and underneath you because they have a little bit better of following and they know they can probably you know excel with that I think since social media is becoming the way it is Congress should write up some type of bill on that making it really against policy of something to just steal but you know that ain't gonna work so let me just shut up about that people gonna do it anyway it's okay to do it and put a twist to it to make it your own but don't just say you invented something Knowing good dang well you did it. I just had to get that out. This hair is so light. I just like it so much. It's so, so sassy. So sassy. This is going to be the freaking ball. I can't wait till I get done with it. Can't wait till I get done with it. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait till I get done with it.
What? I'm watching one of my favorite movies, Napoleon Dynamite. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Vote, 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 vote for Pedro. Vote, 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 vote for Pedro. When I first saw this movie, I thought it was just hilarious. It is funny. This is it. I haven't chopped any of it yet. Just want to fluff it out because it will clump really bad. And I ended up using a little bit more of another bag because I wanted a little bit more volume, especially right here. Whew, I am tired. It took longer than I had anticipated on taking, it, but it's really cute. Like I like it a lot. And this is the loose hair here. Right there. I'm going to take it down for now because it needs some more oil on the end. I notice my end's a little bit dry here. And I left it loose like so, so you can redo it. That's all the things you need to. Just kind of pull the hair down to cover your knots right here. But I'm going to put a little bit more oil right there because I just noticed it was really dry second ago and this is it the invisible part right there we'll go fix it up some more and i will be back i'm so tired like this took to the last i'm all done for the most part what i end up doing here is just put a rubber band and i flat braided my hair down and put pulled it through like the loose braids like I normally do with my anchor braid and what I'm gonna do is take some more hair just to cover that part and just cover it up You want to kind of go over it with some hair just to anchor it. Anchor it down some more because it's just in there. Give it some layer. It won't be too long in the face. All right, this is the finished result of my hairstyle and I really like it. I really wanted it to be a little bit more voluptuous though. This is actually day number two, well, three. I did it on Sunday, today is Tuesday, the 29th of March, of course. Because if you don't, the curls will definitely clump all together. And I have two pins here. I'm just kind of holding the hair in place. I honestly did not want it to be this long on my neck, but it's fine. And that's how my invisible part is looking. Like that. Just fluff, fluff, fluff. And you don't want to put too much on. Like, I will go in and maintain it, of course. I like to use the wig shine. I actually haven't put any on there yet. Cause I don't feel like it needs any right now, to be honest. So I'll show you the back. Hope it looks fine back there. Like I said, I haven't really looked ahead in the ponytail. I was doing my makeup, so I'm trying to fluff, fluff it for you guys. Get a view right there. All right, here's my final, final reveal. I actually end up tweaking the hair quite a bit. So 
just a little curl here. I have all this out of the way. And I cut some of the length. I like this a lot better. Drink, drink. This is after about a week. Maybe five days of wear. Yeah. Feel a little bit more sassy with this to where the tail is there if I want it. Alright everyone, so that is definitely going to do it. Let me know if you think I nailed it. I really think I got really close. Like I said, practice makes perfect. I will definitely be doing this style again. Maybe with some different type of hair. Maybe a different color. I give it a 9 out of 10 because of the back needs tweaking. But hey, once again, I think it turned out great. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Go ahead and sub hit subscribe for me. I'm trying to get to 10k this year. Please help me out. Come on. Peace. Thank you.